so here we are in Norwich. Thank you for joining us today. It's a wave. wave. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are you going to paint today? Uh, St Benedict's Street. So there are various cafes, restaurants, quite a good art shop. Oh, so that sounds yeah. lovely. Perfect. Yes, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's renowned as the, the new Notting Hill. Is it? Oh, oh. Ooh. Okay, Sharon, so we're in situ, we're in the street where the group are painting today. And we have the dilemma that we always face. Have you decided where you're going to paint yet? Well, I've got about four at the moment, like quite fancy. And so I'm looking at a really rather lovely roof line because we've got a lot of Dutch architecture here. So we've got, they look at the brickwork on the chimneys. And that, the, I mean, that is so typical, isn't it, of the architecture in, because it was wool, wasn't it? Yes. In this yeah. part of the world. So the Dutch came over here. And, and we've emulated their building style. There's a really interesting shop over the road called Tanya Goddard, and it's an art salon, but it has the weirdest art in it, which is really very fascinating. Look at the characters sitting outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's a model, it's not a person I hasten yeah. to add. Yeah. But I love the way they've even put a mask on it. No. I've got... I really, really like that little doorway there yep. over Gaffer's Yard. Okay. And of course, you've got the beautiful rusty colour. The steps are broken there. And I'm quite taken with this yellow building down the road here. Oh, yes. the sound, What's it called? Sound Clash. See, that's old, isn't it? Look at the way yeah. it overhangs. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, there's so, plenty here. There's options. Plenty here. So, Sharon and I are sat here in the street. It's... Benedict Street, I think they said, didn't they? Um, and we're setting ourselves up and we're getting going. We've had a very strange lady come up and film us, but that's fine. We film other things, so that's not a problem. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you where I'm painting and I'll show you where Sharon's, what Sharon's painting and uh, we'll take it from there. So this is the view I'm going for. I'm going to focus on that yellow building, the soundscape building. And we're having lunch in this cafe called Sahara. And Sharon is focusing in on this fabulous little gateway with a broken step and it looks amazing. So that's what we're going to be painting. I've been looking down this road and the roof lines are so fascinating. There's no two buildings. There's no two buildings built in the same era. There's no two roof lines the same. There's no two chimneys the same. It's fascinating. But that involves an awful lot of perspective, doesn't it? Doesn't it just? <laughs> so I'm very glad, actually, that you're doing the perspective and okay. I'm not. So let's yeah, have... I've, a... I've got this little oh. thing that I do, where I just do the angle thing. You do it, it with your pencil, easier. yes. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look at what you're doing. I'm, keep, I'm keeping it quite rough, I'm keeping it quite loose, and I'm going to add, do you, do you like me looking over my glasses at you? <laughs> <I'm> keep, <laughs> there we go. I'm keeping it quite loose, and, and I'm going to add a splashes of colour and just keep it very simple today. It's too okay. complicated to go in with every detail. Okay, so whilst we're here and you said you're doing it with the pencil thing, can you just, just give for our beginners... A bit of a demonstration, explain pencil. what you're meaning. Okay. I'm going to have to turn my back, but if necessary, we'll put some 
words over the top if you can't hear me. Okay. Okay, so what I do is I hold, I hold my pencil out perpendicular to, parallel to me, sorry. I hold my pencil out parallel to me. I don't push it away or bring it forward, it has to be square on. And then I use it like the hands of a clock until I get to the angle I want for a roof line. Okay. And then I just bring my pencil down, put it down, and that's the angle and I need. And that gives you the angle. Brilliant. That's a good tip, Denise. Thank you. So tell me about what you're drawing and show me what you've been doing. Well, here's my effort so far. Lovely. So I've just sketched it out and I'm, just, I'm ready now to start painting. And I just love doorways because it gives you that idea that there's something through there, you know, somewhere to go through to, yeah. to go and look. Um, and I love the fact that the steps uh, have been, at some stage, they've been, um, what do you call it, concreted over to make them yeah. smooth. And it's broken away. And as a consequence, you've got the bricks underneath the concrete down here. Taking a bit of poetic license because there's the most beautiful, all down the road, um, metal tubs of beautiful plants, formiums and cordylines and things. And they're, they've gone rusty. So I love that orange beautiful. colour of the rust. Yeah. So I've brought that into my picture and I'm going to bring it out here so that the next time that I continue drawing on the rest of the page, those leaves will kind of... Link. Yeah, nip, nip into next door, you know? Yeah, I know exactly. So that's Fab. the plan. So I'm going to start painting now. What are you doing now then, Denise? Well, I've just wet my sky and we've got broken cloud today. So I'm going to pretend I can see more sun than I can in amongst our clouds. I want this to be quite a loose painting, so I'm getting a bit squishy. She's flicking chaps and chapesses, so this is where we all have to wear raincoats. Ugh. <laughs> So I've come to have a look over your shoulder. Yes. I'm just, this is still wet. So I'm just going in there to give the impression of bricks. I don't want it to be too harsh. But if I just lay it in when it's wet and I get this kind of cauliflowered look of the brickwork. So that you can see it's there, but not not quite there. Yeah. Whereas this is all a bit more positive around here. So it's not so much in shadow. Absolutely. Fabulous. <laughs> Sharon's having to refill her water. Why is that, Sharon? Um, because so I'm I'm using the top of Denise's trolley. You can see it here. And we're talking. Just recorded a little bit. And Denise turned round and we all talk with our arms and our hands, don't we? And of course, the next thing I know is pot of water, everything goes flying. Oops, so sorry. I had to get the gin out. <laughs> Something I find fascinating about this building that I'm drawing is that the windows, the soundscape ones, the yellow building, the windows at the front lean out from the building. So the whole yes. of that section leans forward. I think that's fascinating. Yes. So bring your own breakfast. Yeah. He said, did I fancy coming along, you know, doing a paint out one day during the week? Perfect. So we sort of decided on a Wednesday. So I understand you've got a Facebook page. What's that called? Uh, John Paul Watercolours. That's yours. And what about yeah. the Wednesday group, the group here? Oh, right. Sorry. No, that's all right. Uh, I'll put them both in. Norwich Outdoor Painting Group. Okay. So if anybody's looking for the group, that's how they would find yeah. the group on, yeah. on Facebook. Hello, darling. Um, I'm just going to film you and just show everybody what somebody's just gone and done to you whilst you're painting. Oh, no. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I must get on with steps. I need to paint the steps now. I've done sort of most of the surround, but have a look and see why I can't paint the steps. <laughs> and it's on a double yellow line, yellow line, and it's this very handsome fellow, bodybuilder, and he's gone into the barber shop 
but clearly it's far too much for him to walk more than three feet. So he's parked on a double yellow line. He saw us and he's parked straight in front of us and gone in to have his hair cut. How considerate is that? So what are you going to do? We're coping manfully. <laughs> <laughs> More manfully than he is. So Sharon, how are we getting on? I can see you flicking back there. So this will be this top in, in the wash when I get home. <laughs> I know how that works. <laughs> yes. You know how it works when anybody around you flicks the, it, yes, the brush. Yes. So show me how you're getting on. I have done that so far. Mm -hmm. So I'm just laying in my basic washes mm -hmm. and my colours. And I've introduced this beautiful, they're, be they're really lovely, um, iron planter. Fade it off the page, get rid of it. And this has some of the prettiest kind of purpley coloured maroon leaves in it. So I think the cordylines, some yeah, they are. lovely purple cordylines. Um, that means that I've introduced some purple colour in the shadows inside the doorway because that brings in the purple colour. Hello. Hello. We're hello. lunching in there. We are. Look, hello. say hello. What time do you Say hello. <laughs> okay. So, my darling, tell me what you're doing. Well, I'm, I'm going into it now, but I'm going to use two pens. One is thicker and it's a permanent pen and it will go down and stay down. And then I also want to use a thinner pen which is going to react with water. And that gives me the choice to work into it again with water to get it to move. But what I did want to say is I've got this really tricky gateway here and I'm just going to use a big fat pen and I'm going to solidly paint it in. Because there's no way in any world that I can imagine that I could paint straight lines on wonky paper to, to get a decent picture. I don't want it, you see how I fluff the edges? I don't want it straight, straight. I haven't gone into it with a ruler. And all my lines, I'm going, I seesaw backwards and forwards, like you were, okay? But I don't want to come into this with anything clever, like a brush, because I know, I absolutely know, I will bog it up. So if I fill it in, I've always got the choice afterwards to come back and to go in with a white pen and just drop in a bit of highlight. Hello, how did you get on? Yeah, I'd love to see. If you don't mind us doing this filming bit as well. Let's see what we've been up to. Oh, that's delightful. Well, oh, really I nice. Found, I found coming out that I was not really inspired by street scenes and I was not happy with any of them with oils because I thought I need to practice my drawing. So I've been doing pen and wash and for the last year, most Wednesdays. And, and it's looking pen. fabulous. Oh, how lovely. So you normally work in oils? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me your name. Eleanor. Eleanor. Yes. Yes. Here we are in Norwich. Thank you for joining us today. We've had a lovely morning, but um, to be honest with you, although it's bright, it's still quite chilly. It is January. It the is January. In January. So it's got to be expected, hasn't it? What kind of temperature do you think it would have been today? About four. Uh, yeah. About four, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go home and sit with our noses over a mug of tea. I think that's the way to go. Definitely. So for now, it only remains to say to you, Denise, what do we want them to do? Dip into our conversation. See you next time. Bye from Norwich. Bye.
gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. It's cold. <laughs> Oh look, Sharon's blowing her nose again. I'm so sorry I turned around far too quickly for you, didn't I? Oh goodness gracious, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to coming up here and getting a bit of Norfolk sunshine and warmth. In the summer we to believe it never happens. <laughs> so Sharon, what just happened there? just walks up my alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be careful about it. You didn't give me permission. You didn't give me permission to walk in your alleyway, hey. did you? <laughs> oh, I miss it. <laughs> subscribe. 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 I've subscribed. Have you subscribed? Yes, I've subscribed. Fabulous. Have you subscribed, Please though. subscribe.